Hi everyone, how are you today? I wish we all in a good condition. Uh, this time I'm going to explain my story pitching about the product, um, about the Kindle Nut skincare product. Okay, let me introduce myself first. I am Ernestina Surati, and I will present our uh, story pitching about Kendalna skincare. Okay, let's continue next. Okay, this is our product, Kendalna skincare. Uh, yeah, we chose. Yeah, this is the picture of our product. Okay, now let me continue to the introduction of our product. Our product is Candle Nut Skin Care that helps customers in increasing collagen production, moisturize the skin, lighten the skin, prevent aging, and heal the sensitive skin by scrub the lotion to the whole body. And of course, there is many problems of our product, um, many things that still we can't fix yet. And this is one of them. We haven't been able to solve all the customer skin problems. You're like, many customers maybe have different um, different feeling, different sickness of their skin. So we still can't to fix it all. But we have solution. This is the solution. We will continue to upgrade our products in order to suit the needs of customers. Yeah, because uh, maybe the first product that we launch still uh, couldn't suit um, some of the customers' needs. So we still and continue to create and upgrade our products. So uh, the customers' need will um, the customers. The customer's need will um, fulfill. Okay, then what the service we have? Okay, we have uh, two services. The first one is understand customer needs. Yeah, by understand customer needs, we will know what our customers struggle with and we can reach we can try to reach and create what they need to fix their skin problems. And the second one is receive complaints with open arms. Yeah, we also uh, let the customers to be, um, I mean, to complaints what they feeling, I mean, um, if our skincare product doesn't fit their needs, we allow them to complain. So we can increase and improve our product to reach, um, to be as our customers wishes. And then our target market. This is our target market. The thumb is uh, we we take from Indonesian market size and we guess it about fifty millions. Yeah, so there's about 50 million people in Indonesia 
who use skincare products. And then the sum, we take uh, the sample from East Java market size. So there are 10 million people who use skincare in East Java. Then some. The sum as our estimated customers in a year. And we hope to reach about 12,000 customers in a, in a year. Okay, now we're continue to the competition. We chose Indonesian online market. So, so there are four online markets that we that we chose. There is Shopee, TikTok Shop, Tokopedia, Lazada. So these four is the platform uh, we use as the platform to sell our product. Okay, this is the partners. Mm, we just chose Shopee and TikTok because uh, we see um, that this online shop market uh, have the biggest selling. So we wish we have a biggest wish to be partners with them. And this is our business model. Uh, start from cost per unit is 20,000 rupiah. Then we want to reach a thousand customers in a month. So we will get 20 million in a month. Next, the commission from customers is 20% per product. So, IDR per product is 4,000 rupiah. Then, estimated income in end year. We have 40... 8 million rupiah from 20% uh, of commission from customer and cost and um, I mean total of cost per unit and also uh, the amount of buyers so 20% per 100% times 20 million is 48 million. Then what's our future plan? This is our future plans. On May 2024, we plan to create a website to um, sell our product, to, to put uh, our product in it. Then on July 2024, we are going to first launching our product. Then also on July, we plan to promoting our product. And then on August 2024, we will starting stay, sale our product. Next. Uh, the introduction of our team. The first one is me, Ernestina Surati, as the CEO of our skincare product. And then there is also Arce, Astren Muraguna. She is a marketing of our product, our product selling. Then Yuliana Kurnihat. Kurniati Helmi, she is a human resources. 
this is what we predicted of our financial growth in 2024 we predict uh, to reach about 48 millions and then in 2025 we predict to reach 96 millions as the income of the end year and then in 2026 uh, we plan to reach about 120 million and in 2027 we plan to reach 150 million uh, this is about the investment we need an investment fund of 500 million which 45% of the fund is for the production of our product and then 30% is for marketing and sales then we use 25% for the staff okay this is the closing of our story pitching and yeah we have a very big trust in our product that it will reach a high sales in the future with the support of our team members and also the other companies that cop our company okay the last one is i want to say thank you very much for the audience who are able to pay attention to my story pitching presentation okay wish you all have a good health thank you so much bye bye